Hello friends, in this video we will be learning about the shortcut trick to find out the maxima and minima for a given quadratic polynomial of equation. Remember this trick works only for a given quadratic polynomial equation. I have written a general form of a quadratic polynomial ax squared plus bx plus c. Now what I need to do, I just need to check whether my a, that is coefficient of x squared, is positive or negative. If it is positive, what, how far the maximum value will reach? We all know if it is positive, definitely the maximum and the most reach infinity, plus infinity. What about for the minimum value? And that's what you have to remember. For the minimum, you just have to work it out with this particular formula, 4sc minus b squared by 4a. What happens if my a is less than 0? Just like in the case I have given one example, negative 3, where the coefficient of x squared is less than 0, so in that case, your minimum, since it is less than zero, and the least maximum it will reach is negative infinity. But what about the maximum then? The maximum is this one now. 4ac by 4. So when a is positive zero, the minimum would reach to this one. But a is less than zero, it will flip, and the maximum you will get it with that. Now let us solve a few questions based on this one. Since both is uh, positive, you can check the coefficient of x squared is positive in the both the cases. So directly you can put it your answer. Maximum is positive infinity, whereas for this one, the minimum definitely is going to give you negative infinity. Now we just need to work out for the positive cases. The minimum that is 4ac minus b squared. If you just write it over here, that is a and this is your b and this is your c. Okay, if you substitute in this particular thing, that is 4ac minus b squared by 4a will fetch you the answer. 4 times a and c, 20 into 11, 220 minus b squared, that is 64, divided by 4 times a, that is 20. Definitely this one. 220 minus 64 by 20 will give you the answer. Now, coming back to the same thing, you have A, B, and C. Remember, you need to take with the signs. If it is there, like B is negative, so we have taken negative over here. Since it is square, it doesn't make any difference because minus is in the formula, so we have minus 64. Same thing, you are going to work it over here. 4AC minus B square by 4A. And just substitute and check your answer. 4 times 7 into 5, 7 fives, or you can say 4 into 5, 20, 20 into 7, 140, 140 minus 81, divided by 4 times 7, there is 28. Similarly, when we have to find out for the maximum for a negative coefficient of x square, your hands maximum will be this one. So 4 times a and c, remember a, b and c. So 4 a and c. So 21 times 4 is 84, 84 times 3, and then minus 25 will give you the answer. 4ac minus b square by 4 into a, that is negative 12. Isn't it pretty simple? You work it out with this one and follow this simple rule, you will get your answer within no time. Okay, please work it out.